Hey everyone, welcome. This is a quick video to introduce a tool I built to make modding ME3 a lot easier. If you've ever tried installing or uninstalling mods manually, you know it can be frustrating, editing profiles, dragging folders, and hoping nothing breaks. This tool takes care of all that. It lets you drag and drop mods, enable or disable them with one click, edit config files directly inside the app, and even launch your game, all from one place. It also supports both DLL and non-DLL mods, with special handling for regulation.bin files. No more confusion or wasted time. Now let's take a look at how it works. First, go to the Nexus Mods page. The link is in the description. Download the Mod Engine 3 Manager. After that, extract the contents of the manager anywhere you like. Then open me3manager.exe. As you can see, I've already installed some mods, but I'll delete them and start over from scratch. After deleting all the mods I have, let's make sure that Mod Engine 3 is installed before doing anything else. This is an important step and many users who report issues with the manager usually didn't install Mod Engine correctly. Go to Help About. It's recommended to always download the stable version of Mod Engine 3. After downloading it, let's install it. Once installed, we can test if it works by opening PowerShell and running the following commands. There are three types of mods this tool can handle. DLL mods, non-DLL mods, and regulation.bin mods. Let's start with a DLL mod we'll use the storm control mod as an example. As you can see, we can enable or disable it, and if the mod supports config editing, you can click here to modify the settings. If the tool can't automatically find the mod's config file, you can browse to it manually and the path will be saved. Make sure to save the file after editing. Now for an example of a non-DLL mod, we'll use the free rain mod. Just drag all the mod folders into the app drop zone. You'll be asked to enter a name for the mod. You'll also notice a new icon, which indicates the mod includes a regulation.bin file. We'll come back to that in a moment. Next, an example of a regulation.bin only mod. Let's use scaling for duos. This mod only includes a regulation file. If you have multiple mods that include regulation files like free reign and scaling for duos, you can only activate one regulation file at a time. You can switch between them without deactivating the mods themselves. But since you can't activate more than one at the same time, it's better to merge regulation files using a tool like Smithbox. Now let's talk about a few additional features the tool includes. One, custom game path support. Only use this if Mod Engine 3 can't automatically detect your game path. Two, set up external mod. By default, mods are installed to the Night Rain Mods folder. If you want to use a mod without moving it to that folder, like I do with Seamless Co-op, this feature lets you link it directly from wherever you prefer to keep it. 3. Edit or view .me3 files. You can open and view these files if needed, though it's not recommended to manually edit them. Uh, let's test if Mod Engine is working correctly. Click on Launch Night Rain. Yeah, as we can see, all the mods we added are working perfectly. 
Thanks for watching, and I hope this tool makes your modding experience a lot easier. If you found this helpful, feel free to leave a like or share it with others.